Okay, so while this is strange, it is still excellent news for pro Samsung phone owners. Many Samsung consumers were dissatisfied when we found that Samsung is once again working on their Exynos series of chips and plans to use their Exynos 2400 in the S24 series in several countries. This clearly meant that the new Ultra phone was not going to perform well in many regions, with the exception of the United States and few other nations where Samsung would continue to use the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. However, we are now getting some good news. According to a leakster, Samsung will now only employ the Exynos 2400 in the basic S24 model and not the other two models. In United States, the base model will continue to employ the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, which is an unusual distribution of chips in various regions for the S24 series. However, this is still good news for customers because every area of the world will get the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 with the Ultra Phone. The Ultra Phone will function best across the board. We are aware that the S23 Ultra performed very well with this year's Qualcomm processor, and we anticipate same performance from the S24 Ultra with the Qualcomm. There is currently no information available on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3's performance. But the first information on the Samsung's Exynos 2400 performance is now circulating. The Exynos 2400 achieved 1530 in single core performance and 6210 in multi core performance, according to a tweet from a leaker. This is the average result. Exynos 2400 achieves the highest score of 1711 for single core and 6967 for multi score. These results show that the Exynos 2400 outperforms the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and hopefully will be as powerful as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Scores, however, can never fully convey how well a product will function in the actual world. We are aware of the problems with the Exynos chip and we have heard from a certain leak that the Exynos 2400 is still overheating, which obviously results in lower performance. However, there is still plenty of time for that to catch up and match the Qualcomm chip. However, we are hopeful that Exynos can improve their processors so they can begin to perform effectively. What do you guys think about the Exynos chip making a comeback in the S24 base model? Please let us know in the comments if you believe it to be a good or bad thing. This concludes the video. If you enjoy it, please subscribe to my channel. We'll see you in the next. Till then, take care.